Good evening, welcome to our service of Compline. The image before you is Richard Roller, a man who is rather interesting from the fact that he went off, did the academic bit, disappeared up to Oxford and moved into a hermitage not far from the Cistercian nuns at Hampel. Much of his writing on mysticism and asceticism wrote in Latin but also wrote in English was an amazing man. He took himself away from everything to be with God and serve him. What a brave man I reckon but there we go. It's amazing how it's easier to find God in the noise than it is to find God in the silence. So let us come and make a noise, a joyful noise before the Lord. Let our worship, our prayer, our praise rise up to him. For he is our everything. Without him we have nothing without him. We are no one. Hallelujah. Let's come before the Lord. And we say, Holy Spirit, come with us. Be with us now. Journey as we journey. Guide us as we reflect on the day. Father God, we invite the presence of your Spirit to search us, to inspire us, to Help us to lay this day to rest in the way that honours you and brings us peace. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. So we reflect on the day and all it has been. And bringing to mind all that has perhaps not gone as well as we might have liked, we pray. Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your Spirit, and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Alleluia. Before the ending of the day, Creator of the world, we pray that you, with steadfast love, would keep your watch around us while we sleep. From evil dreams defend our sight, from fears and terrors of the night. Tread underfoot our deadly foe that we no sinful thought may know. 
O Father, that we ask be done through Jesus Christ, your only Son. And Holy Spirit, by whose breath our souls are raised to life from death. Psalm 16 Preserve me, O God, for in you have I taken refuge. I have said to the Lord, You are my Lord, all my good depends on you. All my delight is upon the godly that are in the land, upon those who are noble in heart. Though the idols are legion that many run after, their drink offerings of blood I will not offer, neither make mention of their names upon my lips. The Lord himself is my portion and my cup, in your hands alone is my fortune. My share has fallen in a fair land, indeed I have a goodly heritage. I will bless the Lord who has given me counsel, and in the night watches he instructs my heart. I have set the Lord always before me. <clears throat> he is at my right hand, I shall not fall. Wherefore my heart is glad and my spirit rejoices, my flesh also shall rest secure. For you will not abandon my soul to death, nor suffer your faithful one to see the pit. You will show me the path of life. In your presence is the fullness of joy, and in your right hand are pleasures for evermore. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Titus chapter 2 verse 11 The grace of God has appeared bringing salvation to all. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. Alleluia, Christ the light of the world, alleluia, has manifested his glory, alleluia, alleluia. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Alleluia, Christ, the light of the world, alleluia, has manifested his glory. Alleluia, Alleluia. And so we come with our prayers, with our thoughts, with the day now closed behind us. For we can't go back, we can only go forward. Lord, I thank you as we come this night, the words of the children's rhyme. 
we're going on a bear hunt comes to mind. Uh, with this day and every day, we can't go over it, we can't go under it, we can't go round it. So we have to go through it. And in the day that we have been through, in the day that we have trudged, bounced, sprung or reluctantly passed along, move along the day is all we have to do, all we can do. So we look at the day and all it's been. And as we think of the day, we think of the blessings of the day. The people we have engaged with, the people we have conversed with, the emails, the phone calls, the visits, the chance encounters. Father, as we look at this day and count our blessings, as we reflect on each small blessing, which when combined, when added together, makes something rather marvellous. When we consider blessings given and received, Father, we thank you for this day and the journey it has been. All too often we look at the day, we look at the encounter, the experience, and we find ourselves searching for something in it. That sense of meaning, something that would give us purpose. Lord, what greater purpose is there than to love you with all our heart, all our soul, all our mind, and all our strength, and to serve our neighbours, to love them as we love ourselves. So, Father God, we thank you for the purpose of this day. It has been to live, to love and to show your light. And each day we do that in some degree, to some degree of success. But Lord, we ask now as we go to bed that you would steal any longings in us, any desires, any frustrations. And it's so easy, as I know one other person shares this with me, to look at the end of the day and think I planned so much and achieved so little. But all that we achieve, each thing is a triumph. All that we fail to do today is the promise held for us for tomorrow. Father God, we thank you for the longing, for the hopes, for the prayers that we find within us. And this day, we come before you and we give you thanks for Sue Palin and for Dean. We pray for Mabel Rose and for Pauline Perkins and for Dan and for Luke and for June and for Simon. We pray for Josh Eden. Lord, we pray that the need for medication would pass that something would be done. But until that day, if we pray and hold him in our hearts, as we pray for him and his family and all that is within their lives and within their witness, we pray for Gillian, that a woman who knows how to read the signs might find the signs posted to bring her into a place of still water, blessing and peace for the Mitchell family and for Elaine and all her family, for Jane and Richard and all that is within their lives at this time, for Colin and Kath, for Mary and Molly and for Enid, 
for Derek Pritchard for Kerry and Barbara and the other older members of our church now and for the babies Janet and Brian and for their babies and nephew for Harry and for Damien Father for the joys and the challenges we pray for Leah and Kev as they get over COVID we pray for those we know who are seeking your word your calling your vocation and we pray that your light your love your power would be on them And Father, I thank you that even though I was a Cub Scout only for four days, for Lord, now I know the folly of Seneca in the stew and not throwing the tub away. And as my father took me home, I knew, <laughs> I knew it wasn't as funny anymore. But Lord, from one man whose school career was cane and detention, I thank you that you, by the blood of Christ, have redeemed me and others who were much better behaved than me. And possibly worse. So Lord, we look at our journey this far for the bumps, for the follies, for the foolishness, for the things that really may have been remedied had I been a hermit rather than been a naughty schoolboy. But Father God, we learn by our mistakes. So I and many others are the wisest men in Christendom this day. So shine as the moon shines again this night. Shine brightly. That your light may illumine us in the dark of the night. And that your light might shine from us in the daylight as we make your love known. As we often pray, lighten our darkness, Lord, we pray. And Lord, we thank you that that prayer is answered, that that love is immense. We thank you for all that you do for us, all that you do within us. Bring us now to our beds, to our sleep, and bring us rest, we ask. And tomorrow, should we wake, may it be a day of blessing, of opportunities taken and loved ones prayed for. Almighty God, in Christ you make all things new. Transform the poverty of our nature by the riches of your grace and in the renewal of our lives make known your heavenly glory. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God now and for ever. Amen. And so we pray, our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom the power and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. May the living waters of Christ cleanse us 
may the Spirit descend upon us, and the blessing of God be with us, this night and always. Amen. Thanks for being with us, guys. Be blessed. May those for whom you pray sleep and wake refreshed. And may their prayers be answered. Take care and enjoy. As Philip rightly points out, the cloud slowly drifting across the face of that moon. And then look a little bit to the right and you'll see Orion. My favourite. Bless you guys. Sleep well.